you know. But I think that uh, we discussed, among other things, the security situation in the country and how, at our local level, we can complement the efforts of the uh, federal government to ensure the, that the security is guaranteed in our region. You will agree with me that federal government alone cannot be left with this business of money security in Nigeria without the contribution of uh, individuals and citizens. So we must also rise to the occasion as responsible citizens of this country to ensure that all these miscreants are not allowed to derail our country. I don't know the meaning of Omoteko, but I know that in the southeast, we as indigenous, we as uh, Igbo people, we already have before this time our community vigilante arrangements, which uh, we use, working hand in hand with Nigerian police and other security agencies, has helped a lot in uh, sustaining good security programs for our zone. So we we'll continue to support our vigilante groups, but not uh, Amoteko, because uh, they, they call it Amoteko. In the, yeah, in the uh, southwest. Uh, yeah. south, no, 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 I don't. I don't think that is what we are doing, but we know that we will do our indigenous programs that will complete it, complement the efforts of uh, federal government in making sure security is guaranteed in our region. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> the greatest and worst. The greatest and the worst political affliction is insecurity. Any country that faces insecurity or, sec or faces security problem has a problem. And Nigeria has a security problem. And it is affecting Igbos very bad. And as I said, for Igbos, it is posing existential threat and thank God it is almost a consensus subject in Igbo land among Igbo political elite that something should be done about security in Igbo land you, you were here you saw some form of consensus that Igbos will take special interest in their security. And they have advised the governors to make it their priority. Evil presidency is clear. As I said, we have moved from considering it as a probable ambition to a possible ambition. And that is politically justifiable, morally defensible, politically defensible. In fact, it is a righteous cause for Igbo man to, to become president of Nigeria. It will be well deserved. Z zoning is as important to Nigeria as breeding. The importance of zoning in Nigeria is as important for Nigeria's own survival as breeding is to human beings. Whoever does not respect zoning in any form in Nigeria with a complex uh, cultural diversity, complex geographical diversity, believe me, anybody who doesn't respect zoning in any form in Nigeria is acting in a way that actually demonstrates that they haven't started politics in Nigeria. All through the history of Nigeria, for whatever reason, there is a compelling necessity for zoning. Zoning means balancing the complex society we have called Nigeria. North and South, East and West, and so on. Even zoning goes now to Nigerian blood in terms of even the same ethnic group, even the state level, local government level. Believe me, zoning is a, what gives a, a group in a complex society a sense of belonging. How any party can say you are ruling out zoning? 
is for them to explain to Nigeria what the alternative is. Nigeria needs to restructure. The federal, system we, the federal system we have is lopsided. Lopsided in the sense that it's not balanced. A federation that, is, that makes it possible for any section to dominate power or monopolize power or take a disproportionate portion or share of national resources, that federation becomes completely a precarious one, unstable, political instability, conflict, because that is a, a form of built, inbuilt uh, uh, injustice throughout history. Those denied justice have had no interest in peace. There will be no political stability if you cannot, in all sincerity, restructure Nigeria. We will be playing with fire unless we restructure. Unless we negotiate Nigeria in one form or the other. Unless we, we apply uh, a, a, a sense of devolution of power, a sense of decentralization. Call it anything. But the truth is that the Nigerian political system must be restructured.